Hi guys, Bobby here again. This is the new Accord, the facelift one. You guys have been requesting for it. So I did the 2.4 and now it's a 2.0. All right, this is the two liter. Again, uh, I'm gonna switch it off first. Uh, all right, it's quieter. Now, again, uh, you guys have been making noise. You wanted me to review this car and I have to come all the way here to Saremban because uh, I know the dealer and they have the car for me uh, I could have bumped into any Honda dealerships around KL or PJ area but I wouldn't want to uh, how do I put this uh? I don't want I don't want to disappoint the sales guy you know pretending as a customer then they take me out and then they were high high of hopes and all that and then waiting for me patiently while I film all my video stuff and then throw them back into their showroom and you know making them feel miserable for being cheated for a day because most car sales people they have very low monthly pay and then they they earn from their commission which i don't think is healthy but anyway that's another question now here's the new facelift i think it looks so much better um especially the bumper how they sculpted the bumper how they do this you know and all that it looks so much nicer now and, and and I have to say, I believe they took some inspiration from BMW because uh, this looks so similar to my car, especially the, the bottom part. But it looks great. It looks really, really good. Uh, okay, I shouldn't say. It. I, I should. I should be fair. This is this is modern, current. You know, car design language. Most people do that. You know, that that really uh, aggressive thing. So it's a. Yeah, it's very modern and they make the car look so much better now. It's almost the entire bumper is different, the bonnet is different, and in the grills are different. So basically the full front end has changed, you know, and it looks very nice. Of course, if this is the two liter, you don't get the full LED headlamps. If you get that, it, the car will look even cooler. But all their com competition is still using, you know, projector headlamps. And these are not bad looking as well, mind you. Right, all right. Let's move to the side. Smaller rims, two liter. Okay, you also get the Honda Lane wash. You get keyless entry. You get the rear blinds. You get everything. Now, the big news about this new Accord facelift is not the two point four. It is actually the two liter. Why? Because Honda spec it up to the brim. Uh, it's like the the Civic one point eight as well. You buy the base spec, but your your car is higher spec than everybody's top spec. So this is this is I think this is Honda Malaysia's new strategy. They just go, yeah. They just bomb everybody else. Now this one has body kits, right? This nice subtle spoiler. But do I like the body kits? I, I don't. I don't because I think the the one without the body kit looks cleaner, sleeker, looks really good. All right, and I mean, friends around Seremban or whatever. I mean, support my friend. All right, uh, this is Bandi Heng. They are, they are being so nice, you know, to put this car out for me to film this for you guys. You know, the internet is a weird place, huh? You guys type a few comments, and then you have this idiot run all the way to Seremban, and for no reason, you think I earn I earn any money? I no. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's the exterior, the new two liter Accord. I think it looks really good. Very, very premium. Let's look inside. Ah, very nice. Right. Okay, let me lower the aircon. If not, GoPros are stupid. Actually, when you're on the aircon, and oh, oh shit. Okay, now we're quiet. Now we're good. So this is the interior and this round in the 2 liter Accord Honda spec it up to the brim it I think it matches the 2.4 in in everything it just yeah it matches you have the that lane watch ah I was so okay that's the reason yeah, you have your stuff going on here and that's for the lane watch see that this is a fantastic fantastic device i think every car should come with it seriously you how do you operate that is flick the signal stop and then that thing will come out 
right? It's so nice because most of the time we have, we have blind spots and all that. And this one solves that. Oh, I can even press it anytime I want. I can press this button just to activate it for a while. You know, and off it back. Lovely. So, this is full spec. Would you like to disable Apple CarPlay? No, I don't want to disable it. All right, here's the cabin. This is the updated cabin. You can see some really nice leather stitches here. Very high quality, real leather. This is the new uh, garnish, but um, could have been better. I don't, I don't, I don't fancy it at all. I don't fancy it at all. Um, it could have been something else, you know, piano black, stuff like that, or this matte satin finish material. It could have looked better, I believe. All right, so a Honda that cabin, high quality, well put together, and looks very premium, looks like a premium expensive car. It is, you know, um, the door pockets. Again, I think you all will know, I don't like car makers that block out this part because let it be full length and you can put stuff, a lot of stuff. Right. And the standard compartments are here. Um, leather seats are comfy, nice. Yeah, it's exactly identical to the 2.4. So, yeah. that means it's very high spec. The interior is full flesh. So, do you have a reason? Do you have a reason to buy the 2.4 now? If you don't need the performance, no. There's no reason to buy the 2.4 if you don't need the performance. But there's one great reason to buy the 2.4, which is those beautiful LED headlights. All right. Yeah. Do I need to do this? This is the same. I mean, hi, Bobby here, five foot eleven, and uh, the headroom I have, and the leg room that I have is massive. All right, and uh, I appreciate cars that allow me to do this at the back. Yeah, I like that. And uh, some blinds here. Yeah, it's a very comfortable cabin. Lovely. Let's look at the boot. Where's the boot release? Okay, it's here. I like that. Look at that. That's a tray. I th I'm sure they got this from this idea from Mercedes-Benz yeah which is very very good when you tap out small stuff you can put them here and you won't think see these are extra efforts that car makers should put you know oh you can fold the seats down but it's the entire seat back and then you, you are left with a small opening why they do that first of all uh, what I can see there's like almost like a cross member there it strengthens the car it enhances uh, what do you call that uh, the soundproofing is better so it's a give and take seriously not many people drop their drop their seats and then and, and put stuffs cupboards blah blah and all that yeah not many people do that and uh, I have a personal hope personal wish I wish car makers right oh, what the hell is that stupid I wish car makers can cover this part you know uh, don't blame Honda, okay? Not even Mercedes or BMW or Audi cover this part. They want to save that, I don't know, two ringgit worth of carpet. So maybe it's an industry practice or whatever, but I think it, it looks a lot better if you covered it, right? But normally you won't be able to see it. Yes. The tires, everything is there. And this is nice. This, this thing is nice. It's waterproof. And uh, it prevents dirt, you know, and all that. There's some hooks here, like this. All cars should have that. And this one, you can fold the seats down with that lever. All right. Uh, there's no power tailgate option, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, that's the boot, big and nice. Can you remove this if you don't want to? I, I believe you can because while it looks great like that, Mercedes system is different. Mercedes system right, is one thing that you come out and then you push a net down. That one, why that one is good? Because it's compact. When, you're, when you don't need to use it, it's compact. This one, while it's good, when you have too big luggage, this will be in your way. Alright, it's good for daily, but uh, you have to, you need to remove it when you've got big luggages. You know, some airport trips or whatnot. Alright. 
let's go for a drive. All right, I'm in the Accord 2 litre. And let's see how nice it drives. Okay, the steering has definitely been improved. Of course, this engine is not as powerful as the 2.4. Um, that's why they have specs, right? They have different options, right? Um, is it coarse? Not yet, you know? Almost there, but it's not coarse yet. It's, it can still be considered a, a, an engine that sounds moderately okay, you know? Am I on the right track? It's okay, you know? It feels like those days where you have uh, the kind of free revving 2 liter engine that, that, you know, that revs and all that. And to be able to come off a CVT gearbox is, it feels so good. Yeah. yeah, this transmission feels so good. Are you able to see me? Alright, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, I like the brakes. I like how the car behaves uh, when I need to apply heavy braking while I have a steering angle and all that. Uh, the car drives well. You don't get pedal shifters in the uh, 2.0. Again, to me, uh, pedal shifters is no longer a, a premium or a sporty stuff. To me, pedal shifter is a safety device now. Alright, uh, when you run into trouble, you can quickly downshift while you brake. Uh, it's, it's a safety device. I hope car makers don't take pedal shifters out even on your lower spec cars. Just leave them in. I mean, are they going to cost you a lot? No, they're only helping you to, to justify the, the the higher specs existence, right? Um, but other than that, the 2 liter is fully spec this round, man. It comes jam-packed with features. Uh, we have to salute Honda for not taking out any safety features, be it low spec, between low spec and high spec. This, this one is... It's a job well done, you know, you, it shows that you really take care of your customers and I think it's commendable doing that. So the 2 liter, it still drives well. I love that Honda updated the steering. Uh, of course the engine is not as powerful, but is it sluggish? No, it's not sluggish. But if you hate to listen to your engine making uh, loud revs all the time, then you might want that 2.4, but then it's... it's I think the price is a bit distance away so which should you get if you don't mind the head the, the led headlights you can get the two liter by all means is is it more than matches up right uh but that led headlamp is just it's just another level in terms of styling for the design I mean, it looks so good it makes the car look so smart so handsome right so the new accord do i like it i love it now because Previously, I love the entire car except the steering and now they have updated the steering Lovely, it's a lovely car now There we go, I'm back Yep, that's my short Saranban excursion for you guys and uh, If you like my video, please subscribe share like my facebook page so that i get i get a pay rise cannot i want a pay rise time is hard you know one mdb two mdb uh, najib rosma shabazz pm i love you pm pm me